The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times? Jesus answered, Not seven, I tell you, but seventy-seven times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they brought him a man who owed 10,000 talents, but he had no means of paying. So his master gave orders that he should be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet. Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancelled the debt. Now, as this servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him 100 denarii. And he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him. Pay me what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay the debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened, and they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for him. You wicked servant, he said. I cancelled all that debt of yours when you appealed to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly father will deal with you, unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. Jesus had now finished what he wanted to say, and he left Galilee and came into the part of Judea, which is on the far side of the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When we have rules to follow, we can so often find ourselves asking that question of, oh, but how far does it go? What if I did this? What if I did it this many times? What if I, and we, we try and test the boundaries of the rules. Maybe that's by asking the person who's given us the rules to clarify, or maybe that's just by kind of letting our, our action push those boundaries. But we see Peter today, he, he knows that the Lord has been calling, teaching the disciples to forgive everyone, to forgive anyone who's wronged them. But he comes with this question of, well, how far does this stretch, Lord? Um, do I have to forgive them even seven times? Because if somebody does the same thing to you seven times and you've forgiven them, you'd be pretty tired of it by then. But Jesus gives him this answer, which is just way beyond what he expects. You know, 70 times. You couldn't even imagine somebody wronging you in the same way 70 times um, or 77 times or 70 times seven. It's, it's ridiculous. It's just over the top and huge. But... The way that Jesus teaches this shows that he wants not only for us to hear the rules that he's giving us, the, the directions of how we're supposed to conduct ourselves, but he wants us to be transformed in our heart so that we become forgiving people, so that these, what he's calling us to do becomes who we are rather than just a following of a rule. And so we... So as well as just giving the simple answer, Jesus follows it up with a parable, as he often does. And we see the servant who had received this amazing forgiveness, a, a huge inestimable debt that he had to his master that he was going to be paying off for his whole life. He would have been sold and imprisoned and enslaved. Um, but the master was so good as to forgive that whole debt. But... While the man had received the forgiveness, he'd received the debt being wiped away, it hadn't changed him. It hadn't actually taught him anything about the grace of forgiveness. Because we see he goes out and there's someone else who owes him a little bit of money and he throttles him and demands, demands that debt be paid without mercy. So he then gets thrown into, thrown into prison. So what Jesus is trying to tell us is that 
we need to appropriate what, what he's calling us to do. Um, when I talk about appropriation, it's that not just that we decide to act in certain ways, but that our heart is actually transformed into being forgiving. So we're not, it's, it's a step beyond imitating the Lord in the way that he would forgive and actually becoming like Jesus, which happens through the practice, but also happens through, particularly through this parable, we see that the man should have learnt from the forgiveness he received why it was so important to forgive others. And so there's no way that we can understand what forgiveness is or allow ourselves to become forgiving people unless we can receive that forgiveness that the Lord offers us. Because we're all sinful people, we're all in need of a saviour and we can encounter Jesus who will always offer us that forgiveness. And the deeper that we allow his forgiveness to speak to our hearts, then it's more that we will be able to be transformed and not just forgive others because Jesus says that we should, but truly forgive others from our hearts, which is what he says at the end, that unless you forgive each other from your hearts, God will not have mercy on you. So let us seek that the Lord's word today would not just fall onto our ears, but would fall into our hearts and change us in the hearing of it.